Have you ever wondered what life would be like if the firewalls you manage could be automatically cleaned up, saving you both time and money and enabling you to maintain audit readiness? Right now, managing firewalls and or cloud enforcement points is proven to be an increasingly hard task with the amount of policy rules and change requests growing daily. This is where Toofin steps in, enabling you to automatically clean up rule bases across thousands of firewalls from a single console, saving you thousands of hours a year and giving you peace of mind. In this video, I'll show you how you can safely and efficiently clean up rule bases across your hybrid network, which will reduce your attack service and improve network performance. First of all, we're going to automatically decommission rules which are being shadowed, followed by generating a report to gauge the status of the rules and objects being used across your entire estate. Let's see how it works. After logging in, we're presented with the homepage dashboard, which includes widgets summarizing key information about your rules and devices that are monitored by Toofin. Under the cleanup widget, we can see there are 493 rules that have been designated as needing to be cleaned up, either because they are disabled, unused, fully shadowed, etc. Let's go ahead and click on the fully shadowed rules. This takes us to the rule viewer, where the relevant search has been automatically filled in based on the cleanup criteria we selected. In the results displayed, you can see the fully shadowed status. We are also able to drill down and see exactly which other rules are causing this specific rule to be shadowed and hence redundant. Now let's mark the rules we would like to decommission and from the menu, select Decommission Rule. This opens up a change request window where we'll add the subject of the request and select Remove Rules. The Disabled Rules option gives you the option to disable the rules for a period of time before removing them. Once the ticket has been named and the relevant change request has been selected, we will go ahead and submit the ticket. The ticket will then be reviewed and approved by the relevant business owner and the policy changes will then be proposed using Toofin's Designer tool. Once the designer recommendations have been reviewed, your device's policy changes can then be implemented by clicking on the Update Devices button and verified using the Verify tool. Here, we can see that the Verify indicates that the rule was successfully removed. This above process was shown manually to give you a view of each step in the change request. The entire process can be automated to ensure zero-touch automation and save you valuable time and resources in your organization. Now let's return to the homepage dashboard, where we can see the number of fully shadowed rules has been reduced following our decommissioning. To summarize, the rule decommissioning change request has helped us clean up our rule base, increasing efficiency by identifying shadowed rules and allowing us to disable and or remove them in a controlled manner and maintain continuous compliance. Now let's view the rule and object usage report in order to see the status of the rules and objects currently residing in our network. The report identifies which rules are not being used, should be considered for removal, and which rules are very heavily used, may be moved up in the rule base. It also analyzes object usage, identifying unused objects which can be candidates for removal, even when the rule itself is not. Here we can see an example of a rule being used heavily, however only one out of the six objects is contributing to this usage seen in the source field. Within this report, we can see there are sections for most used rules, least used rules, unused rules, used rules containing unused objects, and unused objects in rules. This report is another way that Toofin helps you with preventative maintenance and exposes genuine security risks. After assessing the report, we will be able to prioritize which rules need to be decommissioned in order to maintain audit readiness, as well as minimizing risk during data center migration, hardware expansion, and so on. That's it for now. Looking forward to seeing you at the next Toofin Solution Overview.